I'm going to connect the PlayStation 4 controller to the iPhone, okay? Now what you do is you just hold down the power button, the PlayStation button which is here, and the share button at the same time. You hold it down and then it will appear magically on your Bluetooth setting and then you just click pair. Now mine's already connected so I didn't need to connect but obviously you can just connect it like any other Bluetooth device. Now what's happened is to show you that it actually works, I've got, an, I've got a Tello here, which is a little tiny drone, and uh, normally it doesn't come with the controller, so you have to use your iPhone, which is okay, and it's actually not too bad, I'm not complaining about it, but being able to use the PlayStation controller is legitimately amazing. So instead of having to use these funky controls here, you can control it using the PlayStation 4 controller. So now, whoa. Here we go. I'm going to just show you that it's actually flying. I'm actually controlling it with the controller here. So there's turning left and right, forward. And the amount of control that you've got compared to using an iPhone is legit amazing. Okay, um, it's really quite amazing. The amount of control you have compared to using the controller, and I pre presume control to. Compared to connecting a controller or using one of the Bluetooth controllers, the PlayStation, it feels like you're playing a computer game, really. That also frees up your iPhone so you can then use the first person view um, with goggles, that sort of thing. So, legit, this is amazing. Good work, iOS 13. So, if you've got iOS 13, you can now plug up your PlayStation 4.